I'm going to go. Uh, worst thing you said to a player, coaches. Now, keep in mind, um, this is a family show. So watch your mouth. <laughs> Milton. Huh? Go ahead. I get cut. I think I didn't hear. All right. I'll, so he's, I'll, he's looking after the first career. I'll say about Okay, go for it. I'll say about So um, this, this one happened. Uh, this was coaching high school. I want, I, want to, uh, I want to clarify just before we continue. Some stories don't have to be told, so yeah. it's, not, it's not by force. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it anyways because I feel like it's a learning experience for other coaches as well. Okay, go So uh, I had a group of players I had worked with the previous year, and, you know, I had built a relationship with them. Um, and we had a new group of players come in the following year. So I – communicated with the team as a whole, right. disregarding the fact that some of the kids weren't used to me yet or kind of used to my language, um, you know, or my personality or persona. And by language, I don't mean bad language, just oh. the the vocabulary that you use, the way you say oh. things. I'm still mm-hmm. not used to your personality, so I understand. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> Anyways, we, uh, we, were, we were having a game and... Um, I believe I had to arrive late to the game because I had a session with my club team at the time. So the other coach uh, was running the game. And I, I get there, and uh, I think we were losing or something. I think we were losing. So I get there, and I look at the scoreline. And in a joking way, I turn to the kids on the bench. I'm like, wow, you guys are really bad, huh? And they were laughing. They, I, I, it was, you know, it's, it's, it, it wasn't anything personal. Blah blah. One of them even says, "Wow, I guess you're a really bad coach, huh?" You know, it was it was like a it was yeah, like a nice little cool. back and forth. But um, what do you call it? What ended up happening? I think fast forward like a year or two. Uh, I'm at this uh, gym and I see one of the players there, uh, or a couple of them, and you know we're talking, and uh, one of the guys is telling me that, "Yeah, you know that thing you said uh, from like two years back." Um, it really, it really killed my confidence as a player. And I was like, dude, I, I had no idea that, you know, I was trying to explain to him that it wasn't in any ill intent that, you know, that's just how the players from the previous year and I, we kind of jab back and forth with each other. It had nothing to do with him personally, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, you know, be careful how you talk to players, but that's, that is oh, something wow. I've said. So coach, coach IK. Dream killer. That's the headline. <laughs> All right. Uh, move, move, moving on to the next one. Uh, bad I, I, referee experiences. I was, I was, I was going to say. Are you sure you have what you want to share? Don't say it like that. Don't say it like that. You're making it seem like. First off, I think the worst I said was like one time, and I'm not going to say it, and that's it. In over eight years of coaching, it was like once that it was like, eh, maybe shouldn't have said that one. And that's it. And to be fair, the players later on said, nah, we like it. You said that, coach. Yeah, it really motivated. So that's what I'll say. But all the other times, I I, I would say that for some people, it's like, it's like, okay, if they're not used to it, honestly, it's usually the parents who aren't used to it and the kids do a little bit better with it. But I'm like, IK, like, I will be pretty direct and I'll let you know. And I think that's important because. Whoa, 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 pause. I didn't mean what I said to those kids. <laughs> I didn't mean to tell them that. I didn't mean that. I was just I saying that as a, a joke. I would yeah. never say that. I would never be like, you're bad. Like, no, I'm not going to I'm not gonna say that. Like, <laughs> Look, I'm, 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 I'm with care. I'm just, you can poke fun. I think you always can poke fun. Yeah, absolutely. But I think, uh, you know, not to shy this generation, y'all a little soft skin, because come on now. Two years carried around for two years? Come on, dog. Yep. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. I'll, and I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. Next one we got. Uh, worst referee experiences. Now, just reminding folks, this is quick hits, quick hits. Oh, so sorry. Millie, go for it. All right. All right. So <laughs> worst, there's a few. I've been sent off only once, and I was happy that it happened because I, I was like, hey, there you go. I've done it. I won't have to have it have to have it happen again. I think it's just in general when a referee is unnecessarily disrespectful to you if you didn't do anything at all. Like you're just talking, and already they come at you with a certain tone. I had a game, and this ref arrived. And the other coach told me before the game already, he's like, oh, I know this ref, he's horrible. And I was like, I've had the same one. He's the same. And so it's just usually when they're unnecessarily disrespectful from the jump. Okay. Although I will say, I do understand how hard it is to be a ref. So I get that. I forgot the question. I'm so sorry. All right. The question was, uh, worst uh, referee experiences. I'll, I'll chime in, give you some time to think. 
Uh, I've had one in my coaching experience. It's my sole coaching experience, basketball. Went to the playoffs, did you not? 14, uh, 5-3, made the playoffs. But, of course, we didn't have enough teams, so we didn't get to play a game. Um, uh, but it was it was great. Uh, so my first coaching experience when going to that game, we had a really great pair of referees that come over us and talk to us and like, hey, you know, communicate. It's this kid's league. We're trying to help them grow. So we're going to let you know before we warn them and then warn them, come back. The communication, you know, we get a relationship. Communication is key. Um, then the next uh, next few, I think the game we had, like our season capitulated, uh, was uh, we had an injury. And then uh, the ref is uh, calling, like, a kid did this to just get to his face, but he didn't like actually swing his elbow, just like turn his arm around just to feel the person around him. He got called for a foul in his whole situation. So I think communication is key with referees tonight. Don't like when it's just um, uh, a power struggle Absolutely. Uh, between them. So that's always annoying. I can He but forgot it again. As a, wait, I, as a player or as a coach? Either one. Either or. Either or. Oh, um, as a player, uh, I, I got in the game um, and uh, off of my first challenge, I got a, uh, I got a yellow card. Was it deserved? Be fair. Be no, no. It's just, I think the team that I was playing with at the time where uh, the ref had his, he had his own idea as to what the team was like. And mm -hmm. clearly he didn't get along with the players. So me just stepping on the field, he just kind of bunched me in with everybody else. Yeah, uh, I got a yellow off my first foul. I got another yell off my second foul, which wasn't a foul the second time. And I got oh, sent off boy, in, like, boy, in like two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Wow. Two minutes. Yeah. Oh. So as, as a coach, what would you say to yourself coming out of the field? <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't deserved. So as a coach, I'd have had a conversation with the ref. Mm, now here's the question. Here's the question. I understand uh, it not being deserved, but once you get that first yellow card, what's the message to the player? Play smart. And as, in, second, I, as in, don't defend if the other team is attacking. Not saying that, but okay, go ahead. I know, ahead. but the the circumstances. That's a smart. Like, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't foul the second time. Players I just. I, I think he disagreed. Just gonna that's, say that's that. what okay. that's what players yeah. do. They, they respond like that. I shouldn't defend then, coach. That's what you're saying. I just, I can't. You don't say anything right after the moment. You let your own tension cool down. You let everyone's tension cool down. You don't say anything to the player. To the ref, yeah, you can go at the ref because that way you, the team sees that you're defending your player. But after, right after the moment, you don't. You give a day. Next practice, you talk about it. Or right, uh, right yeah. after the game, sure, but not right away. Thank you for listening to Total Foot. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and check out our other videos.